Hi guys, it's been a long time without updates because Zenui team has been working on something really big. We have added a compact UI, Zenui transform tool and trim sheet system as well as many other cool features. This update will be paid. Upgrade instruction is in description to the video. Don't worry, the new version 3 will still be supported, but without the new features you will see in this video. Let's go! All the UI in the end panel is far away from being perfect. It's very long, hard to find something that you need. And that's why we came up with a new solution that is called Compact UI, where you have all the panels in one place. You have quick access to everything what you need. Also, if you want to open two panels simultaneously, you just need to hold Shift key and click on the necessary panel and it will be opened right here. Also you can pin some panels if you need them every time. You need to hold control key and click until it's red. And next time when you're clicking on it, it's always here. If you want to unpin it, you can use this icon or click with control key again. Also in the new way we had this pop-up menu with not a lot of options and also very hard to find something that you need. And that's why in the new the new way we added a new pop-up menu that looks completely like compact UI. The same window. Now you can call this window in any place you want. You can also open a couple of panels holding shift. Also with holding control key you can pin something and now you can call this panel everywhere. And still if you are not satisfied with this end panel menu, you can close it, activate the NUV tool and you can have all the NUV panels right here like in the properties window. If you don't use all the panels, you can disable them here. as well as change the icon style. Finally we added display flipped islands operator. Now you can see all the flipped islands as well as select them with this button. Sometimes background image in the UV editor is so bright that you can't see islands properly and that's why we added function darken image the darken image in the UV editor. Also you can change the amount of darkness and can disable it in the overlay. Pam pam. If you unwrap in buildings, new unwrap constraint operator can save you a lot of time because you can unwrap islands along one axis. Zenrelax algorithm is now out of beta and now it saves position and orientation of islands. Trim sheet is a special technique of creating objects with very high quality with a limited amount of textures and materials. It's mostly used in environment art in combination with style textures. Let's have a look at this example where we have trims and tile textures between these trims and just using a couple of materials and a couple of texture sets you can create the whole environment for your games. On this trim sheet you can see trims that are tiled just in one direction and some unique trims that are not tiling at all. And all this trim sheet helped me to create this variety of different models. You can create small piece of the wall as well as a big piece of the wall and still hold the same level of quality. Now when you know how to create trim sheet I will show how to use it. You need to activate the new transform tool. Let's disable display of our trim sheet for a moment and I will show you one cool feature because you can move your islands right in 3D view. Not only move but also rotate 
and scale. Let's return display back. You can do it by this button or using the hotkey. And I will tell you about these points around our gizmo. With holding control key you can orient our island. With pressing F hotkey or this button we can select active trim. And with holding shift key we can fit this island right into this trim. And we can see it here like on the screen. Also you can move it and see where is on the texture, where is your island. Again you can fit it. Or you can flip it with holding control and shift key. You can change the way of displaying the stream handles and attach it right to the trims. Let's select with F hotkey our trim and move our island right here. And if you don't like select trims in 3D view, we have another option. Let's disable our display and use this trim selector widget. With scrolling we can see zoom, we can select our trims, with shift hotkey we can move it in any place that we like. For example, I like this one and with holding shift key we can fix the position of this widget and with holding shift F you can enable and disable it. Let's select this island, let's select this stream and with holding shift key let's move this island exactly to this stream. And also we can disable key proportion. Another cool feature is that you can select active trim by selected face. You need to hold control and shift hotkey and double click on the middle. And we can see that active trim has been changed. Another way to choose active trim is to call our menu, shift U and click preview. And now you can see every trim by preview. Very easy to choose. When we are using move, rotate and scale, we can limit our island by our trim. Let's select active trim. Now it's blue and active. And let's move our island and click walk in island. Now we can see that all the movement is limited by our trim. The same is for scale. and rotation. When the Nivi Transform tool is active with holding Ctrl and Shift and scrolling, we can scroll through different trims on our trim sheet and fit our islands. In Nivi Editor we can also use the Nivi Transform tool to rotate islands move them and scale. Also if we double click on the point on these transform handles we can scale islands from this point. Also we can choose order one by one or overall. Operations that we saw on these transform handles like align, fit, rotation. You can also find here in trim operators to use in UV editor. It's time to map model in one click. Let's go to help, click update and you need to open the scene that is called hotspot. Open the scene, hide these mapped models and let's see some examples. 
when I go into edit mode to the trims image we can see that we have here like ready trim sheet and also we have unwrapped table now let's hide everything except table let's select all the islands and click hotspot mapping now we can see that all the islands were mapped to trims according to the priority of aspect let's change it to the area also let's change scale of our islands and you can see the bigger is the scale the bigger by area trims our islands are choosing also we need to change fit axis from automatic to trim settings and now we can see that our horizontal trims are no more limited on the left and right side you can set this property in trim settings advanced settings fit axis minimal also we can add a little bit more variety by rotation and location also you can change offset and what is very interesting that you can detect radial islands you just need to click detect radial and we can see that our um, radial islands are choosing radial trims radial trims are also marked in, in a special way they have tech hotspot radial and also you can choose different seat to receive like even more variety in this way we can map not only simple models like table but something much more complicated let's select this bridge it has three materials with the same layout and will be perfect for our demonstration let's select all the islands and hit hotspot mapping let's choose area trim settings and just scale also allow variability location rotation detect radial and here we have the result If you have UV Pack Master installed, now you can pack islands into Active Trim. Pack and Trim, Pack Islands. Let's choose another Active Trim, again Pack Islands. First of all, you need to choose where your trim sheet data will be stored. It can be seen or it can be image texture connected to the base color in your material. Let's create trim sheet. You need to use this icon to create trim sheet with using the UV tool. And another icon to resize active trim. as well as move it also you can activate select icon and to choose any trim to and edit it as you want also if you know exact position of the trim on the texture you can use trim settings here and to put the properties in pixels also you can transform trims let's select two trims crop what is outside of uv and distribute them to each other one more way to create trim sheet layout is to apply material to the plane cut this plane in necessary places select faces and click add new trim in the faces mode absolutely in the same way you can create template to your trim sheet layout without any materials and textures in the scene select faces add new trims faces 
One more interesting operator will help you to create trims inside of other trims. For example, we can create here like multiple trims as well as remove template. When you are satisfied with the result, you can save the result as preset and use it for any your project. Also, you can export it as SVG. You can open this SVG file into the editor, change trims, save, and import it back. Transform tools are now also represented in advanced transform panel where you can find the same tools but in classic form where you can set hotkey to each operator. To the checker panel we added some tools to detect mesh errors. You can match and stitch islands using the operator with the same name. Let's select these edges, match and stitch. We can match it by position, rotation, scale. Also we can change base. And also we can stitch vertices. We can see that they are a little bit transformed. And we can fix it with post process. In the same way we can stitch other ions. and stitch and one more example when we don't have any common edges at all so exist two edges click match and stitch reverse base and in the post process we can change our scale a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.